Hi guys, Brad Donlan here, Pro Cricket Academy's head coach. Here we're going to analyse Jack Leach, um, the England left arm spinner, plays for England and Somerset, and have a look at his action. If we look at all the England spinners um, in their tour of Sri Lanka and the first two test matches here in India, we'll notice the one thing that we notice about them is their consistency and their lack of it. They're not very consistent. And as a coach, your job is to analyse why. You know, Jetan Patel is the spin bowling coach out in India, and um, I'd be analysing why. Why is that inconsistent? Consistency um, arriving, and um, it's basically to do with the biomechanics of his action. So, if we have a look at Jack Leach's action in detail, it will give us an indication to see what's going on um, with it. I've got a delivery of him bowling here, so we'll let him run through. It's a lovely delivery, gets a little bit of drift, spin, good line and length to Rohit Sharma, uh, um, really good, and um, you know, that's where he needs to bowl more consistently. Here I've got one of him in slow motion. Here's a slow motion front on view. And this is one of the best areas to, to view a bowler from as a coach. Um, if you're looking to make changes, this is a great area to view because you get a, a lot of different angles. So if we look at his approach, he's up there, he's in bowls. He gets a little bit wider the crease for me. Um, the reason I say, I'll just pause that, the reason I say wider the crease is that if bowling in a test match in the first innings where the wicket is not spinning, um, bowling wider the crease means you have to create an angle to hit off stump. So for him to hit off stump, that ball has to be angling in. And with it not spinning, it means actually it could be easily picked off through the leg side with the batters because his control of line is going to be much more difficult because he's created that angle. If I just take that back, you can see the angle. So the angle he's creating in order to hit the stumps now is um, is going in towards the batsman. And like I said, in the first day of a test match where the pitches are not spinning, um, that can um, uh, play havoc a little bit with the line that you bowl um, it may work in your favor in the second innings if it's spinning where you've got a slight angle in and it's turning and bouncing um, but ideally I'd like to see him a little bit closer if I take that back and I'm going to have a look at his action with a little bit more detail so we've talked about we've talked about his approach if you see where he is he starts there fairly straight and I'd have liked to see him just keep continuing dead in a straight line I think that would benefit him uh, um, uh, with with a little bit more con uh, consistency it may get his body in a slightly better position as you'll see a little bit later on through the video so as we go and take that through you can see his approach he's got nice nice rhythm nice smooth bounce his, his um, hands are fairly high up um, round his chest which is interesting because when we go to India on the tours I've taken to India too we go to one of the best academies in the world KIOC Karnataka Institute of Cricket in Bangalore they work on the spinner's hands being below the waist below the belly button because it gives you more of a rotation of the arms is, is, is the way they teach their spin bowlers to bowl so it's interesting to see where Jack Leach is here with it round his sort of chest bone and as we go through Let's have a look. He gets into here. We'll notice. Just have a look at his back foot contact. You'll notice that back foot contact, it hits now. Okay, and this is really important because your head position at back foot contact, you could see as I just take this a little bit further that he's really collapsed. You can really see now a real big bend in that back leg. So there's a real um, collapse in it. And, and with that collapse, it means actually your body works as a counterbalance. So your his um, right foot now is kicking out towards the offside in order to balance his body through the action. And as we go through now, because at back foot contact, ideally, you need to have your head really... Uh, um, on top of that back foot so if we have a look at Jack Leach's now there is that's going through the back of his um, back foot contact you can see that his head is already um, to the left of that line so he hasn't got his head um, over that back foot and with it collapsing like it does you watch I'll keep it going keep it going keep it going you can see his head now starting to fall so that foot, that line has stayed on um, his back foot contact and now you can see his head just starting to fall away, fall away and you can see now he's massively, massively uh, away from that back leg and what that causes is actually his delivery here. You can see he's got a big, big now sort of twist in his back, uh, uh, um, a big angle in his back so that when we look at release, and I'll draw that one down there. You can see how massively he is past perpendicular. 
and that is where Jack Leach's inconsistency comes from. He's hugely past perpendicular, okay, and that's um, the biomechanics of his action. What you do want to see is actually his bowling arm should be there. It should be that side of the arm. I would say if you looked at the, the, the top of the red line being a 12, 12 o'clock, his arm should be at five past, and it's actually round about 10 to. And that is, Jack Leach, where the inconsistencies of your action are coming from. Having identified that, uh, and let's just take that on through, he's got a real good pull through, he's got a good pivot and a good turn of the shoulders, good rotation of the shoulders. Uh, um, so there's a lot of energy in his action, but actually it's that back foot contact that's breaking him down where he's falling away and, and then ending up being majorly past perpendicular. Having identified that, we've got to have a look at uh, now and say, right, what can we put in place to make sure that player can improve those areas of the game that will have a major impact on his action. So I'm going to follow this with some videos that I do at my academy, uh, um, some back foot contact drills where we strengthen the back foot contact, and we'll also be looking at bench bowling, which is a feet alignment drill that will help Jack Leach tremendously within his, his development. He's playing test cricket, he's a first class cricket, he's picking up wickets, but actually I think he could be a test bowler that could pick up three, four, five hundred test wickets if he gets this right but he needs to spend a, a, a period of time in order cementing it away from the game in order to, to secure those um, uh, biomechanical uh, um, uh, deficiencies he's got to try and improve those in order to prolong his test career. This is the detail we go in at Pro Cricket Academies with our online coaching. If you are wanting to improve your game and you're wanting to um, uh, make a difference and have more success out in the middle, go to our website www.procricketacademies.com, click the online coaching tab and the details are there. You send me a video and I will send you this detailed voiceover uh, um, uh, instructions with some graphics to try and help you uh, uh, and us build a relationship to develop your game. Thanks for watching and please have a look at the videos that follow this because they are crucially important to the development of Jack Leach as a left arm spinner. Hi guys, here's the drills I'd be looking to do with Jack Leach. Number one is this back foot stability drill to start with, trying to build a lot more strength on his back foot and working on his um, his head alignment with his back foot. We would then add a medicine ball, a weighted ball. You can see how this girl is stays bolt upright and her head's uh, right behind her back foot. We would then be looking to move on to back foot uh, contact bowling drill here, where they actually physically bowl the ball uh, um, after going through the back foot contact phase we then move on to to uh, one of the most this uh, most important drill this is a picture of a lad who I was working with and you can see through bench bowling um, the difference that it made to his action so in that previous picture you see he went past perpendicular and now on the on the bench you'll see where his arm is um, and it's incredible what this drill does. I've not seen it done before. I don't know if I've just in, I've invented it myself, but I've never picked it up from anybody. It's just through 30 years worth of coaching. I've looked at that drill and thinking of how can I realign people, and it's worked um, fantastically well, because not only does it work on their realignment of their feet, it also creates forward momentum towards the target, everything you want your seam bowlers and spinners to do. So um, that's the detail we go in at Pro Cricket Academies. Um, and we can work with anybody in the world now remotely. Um, we will send you these videos, you send us a video, and we will respond with it uh, uh, um, by identifying areas for you to work on. These biomechanical deficiencies that Jack Leach has got uh, um, over a period of time can be eradicated with some hard work and effort and dedication and obviously a bit of player buy-in. You need to get the players to buy in as a coach to the changes and then you'll be off and running. Um, so please have a look at my website www.procreateacademies.com have a look at our online coaching packages we can work with batters we can work with bowlers we can work with keepers um, so um, have a look there and please subscribe to my uh, uh, my social media channels at Pro Cricket Academies our Instagram and our YouTube we post a lot of our coaching content on there so um, please um, leave comments uh, um, to the videos that we've sent and thank you for listening.